What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another episode of this Football Manager Mobile Experiment. And as you can see, Northampton Town, with perfect facilities, staff, and unlimited resources, have finally won the Premier League title. Only took them until 2037-38, but not too bad when you considering when you consider the fact that they uh, started off at League 2. But, um, if you missed the last episode, we left off with Northampton finishing second place, qualifying for the Champions League after a uh, pretty poor run. And then they, uh, they, they went back into another poor run, uh, finishing sixth, then tenth, and then sixth again, um, not really doing anything in the Champions League when they were there uh, after finishing second. But after that little slump, they bounced back with another sixth place, sixth place finish uh, after finishing 10th, and then jumping up to 4th place, qualifying for the Champions League again, but this time it didn't um, hold them back like it did in the past, and they managed to go on and win the title, and partially that has been down to the fact, so they they continued their trend of not really signing any players in you know that 6th place, 10th place, and 6th place season, they didn't sign really any players uh, worth note, they signed like maybe a couple of 300k players, you know, million pound players or dollar players, um, you know, stuff like that. And then otherwise, it's just been straight, you know, graduation from uh, their youth academy. And, you know, it's been a similar thing this season. Like, you know, only sold a couple of players, you know, that weren't worth a lot, loaned a lot of players out, graduated a few players. But overall, probably still making a transfer profit as a whole. But they uh, went and finally bought some, a player uh, last season, Demetrio here, for $130 million. <clears throat> and it really paid off. He's up to a two hundred and thirteen million dollar player now at the age of twenty or yeah, twenty nine. He's got incredible stats this season. He didn't actually do that great for him though, but you know, that's just in the attacking sense. He is uh, a midfielder. <clears throat> so he's definitely uh, played a key role there. But aside from that, they also signed Reese. Uh he was the other player they signed. He's still only twenty two with really good stats. Um, hasn't been contri contributing that much, but I'm sure he's been an important, uh, you know, reserve player. Uh, but they bought him, brought him in for uh, 42.5 million, so still nothing crazy, but um, after that big gap, buying those two players in the same transfer window was um, a bit odd. But um, really, it's been their youth academy uh, that's, you know, kept, you know, producing incredible players and in their training facilities that's been able to train them. This is one of their star players this season. Look at those stats at 23. 149 million dollars can play left mid or attack mid um, and he's got 32 goals and eight assists this season <clears throat> and then Bailey as well this guy is going to be incredible only 18 years old um, if they can manage to hold on to him for his whole career he's definitely going to lead them to some more titles um, he only broke through really last season towards the end of the year but he got eight goals in nine games uh, to be fair he did get you know 25 and uh, 4 assists and 40 with the youth team, but, you know, not taking him long at all to uh, become an incredible player, and he's just going to keep getting better. Um, but if we just look at the stats for this season, so, Austin and Bay, the top scorers there. We did finally have Austin last season um, beat Daka's record of um, most goals in a season with 39 there, uh, but still not managing to to beat uh, Janssen's 32 league goals in a single season, but obviously, uh, you know, in the Premier League, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, but anyways, that's uh, kind of, the, you know, the records that have been broken and uh, the league position. They have not won the Champions League yet, and if we look at the chain here, let's just do this. If we look at the Champions League, <clears throat> they haven't really done much at all since, um, you know, finishing as a runner-up in 28-29, um, but still, even that was impressive back then, don't know how, how they managed to do it, but then in the Europa League, if we take a look at that, they have actually won it for the second time uh, since this takeover, last season, uh, the same year that they made that uh, that big signing after finishing sixth place, um, so the second time they've won the Europa League, and they've actually... Uh, I thought they might have finished runner-up as well. So two two Europa League wins since uh, since getting rich, and then if we look at let's see, was it the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup? They finished runner-up in both, I believe, since the last episode. So if we look here at the Carabao Cup history, 
So they still <clears throat> haven't won it since 21-22, but they have finished rep runners up um, a couple more times. And then if we look at the FA Cup, they actually managed to win the FA Cup in 35-36, and that is their second trophy since uh, this financial takeover and, you know, the improving of the facilities. So two FA Cups, a Carabao Cup, and two Europa Leagues, as well as now their, uh, their one English Premier League title. So uh, I am going to continue to um, simulate through the rest of this, uh, this you know, 30 years that you can do on the mobile uh, game. I do want to see if they can go on and win the Champions League. I would not be surprised given the, uh, the players that they're starting to... Um, you know, they're starting to hit their prime. Um, so there'll be at least one more episode. That'll probably be the last one. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. Leave a like, leave a comment. Again, if there's anything that I haven't shown you guys uh, in this video or the past few, um, just let me know, and I can uh, go back and take a look at it. And then subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.